Wake up. Come on, wake up. Okay, he's breathing. You're breathing, honey. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Just wake up. Come on, please be all right. I need you to be all right. You can't be hurt now. Not when we just... Come on, Dad. Come on, you were right. You were right when you said that we waste so much time. Come on, you were right about everything. Hospital, all right? Come on, just, you know what? If you want, you just stay here, all right? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna call. No, no, no. Don't go, don't move. I'm weak. If you're so weak, why are you holding my wrist so tightly? Adrenaline. see a wounded animal now, would you? Well, I'd freaking see a dead one. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. You know, you might want to take pity on me. After all, I did just get bashed in the head. Well, obviously, your head's a lot harder than I thought. And it's a damn good thing, too. Look at you. What are you so upset about? Don't look at me like that. Like what? Like you're a first-class toad? Why? Oh, come on, give me a break. What do you want from me? It's kind of nice down there. Oh. I just wanted another one to my chest. Oh, I, I, you know, I'm going to whack you. Oh, I wish you wouldn't. I got a wicked headache. Well, that's tough. I'll give you a headache. Well, listen to you, the one who's about to cart me out to the hospital. You don't need a hospital, Ted. You didn't even need me fussing over you. Well, you never know what to listen to you the way you were carrying on. You were worried. I heard you. You... You heard what I said? You, you heard that? You were conscious? Yep. <laughs> You know, you're an even bigger toad than I thought. No, I'm not. I was weak. Oh, please. Getting my strength back. Yeah. You just wanted to hear how well, much I'd say, didn't you? You just wanted to hear how far I would go. Well, I got to admit, once you got started, the thought crossed my mind. Well, guess what, Dad? I take it back. You can't do that. Yes, I can. I said it. I take it back. You meant every word. No, I... What did you expect me to say? You were, like, dying in my arms. I had to say something. Would you relax? It's not such a big deal, is it? I got whacked on the head. You, you know, you panicked. I wake up in your lap. So what? So I enjoyed it. A lot. Is that so wrong? Even a toad needs some loving feelings every once in a while. Okay, fine. You want to be angry? You go right ahead. If I were you, I'd be happy I got a head like a coconut. Otherwise, I would be on my way to the hospital right now. And you're the only reason I'm here. Believe it or not. I really am hurt. A lump back here the size of a ping pong ball. Here, feel. Careful. Ow. Well, you do have a lump. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. I am injured. Wasting too much time. You mean it? You heard that Palmer's car was 
guy nearby? What the hell are you two doing here? We're trailing him. You seen him? Yeah, we tried to stop him. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. I was too busy kissing the pavement to see. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. You're looking for a blue sports coupe. It's a license plate WEZ115. Wait a minute. One more time. WEZ115. Thanks. I got it. Yeah, listen, Mike. Yeah. You find some window shades in the back? You may want to put them in the museum. The pens? Yeah, he's got them in vinyl roll-ups. Thanks. Let's go. Sorry, Diggs. You mad because I ratted him out? No, we tried to listen. Yeah. Don't know how well that went. Somebody's got to stop him. Knock some sense into him. Yeah. Hate to admit it, but I'm actually starting to worry about the old coot. Well, I think we did everything we could. Well, not everything. And for you, I might even consider uh, lying down in front of the car. Okay, then you'd be roadkill. Oh, God forbid. You know what they do with roadkill down in Pigeon Holler, don't you? Oh, yes. We scrape it off and fry it up. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes you homesick, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. I like the taste of burning rubber and cheap soup. What are you calling cheap? Come on, this face is dead. You've had this shirt since the 70s. Right, she must be really upset with that, with the Palmer throwing her in a closet and running off and everything, right? You should go talk to her, see how she's doing. Fine, fine, good. Whatever. You want to go over there now? We can drive over together. No, I think you should drop me at Adams. I think I need to pack. Why? Are you going to stay with Opal till Junior comes back? No, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to Pigeon Hollow. What? Yes, I'm going to West Virginia, I think, yes. Why? Because that's my home. That's where I live. And there's really nothing here for me anymore now, is there? I mean, Adam's taken Junior up to Canada, and Uncle Palmer's is God knows where, so I'll just go home. I'll open up the house, and Adam can fly Junior right down there, and, and then we'll be home. It's time, anyway. Well, what the hell's your rush? Well, you got a, you got a bolt back for a, a blueberry pie bake-off? There's a quilting bee happening? What is it? You're such a snob, Cad. No, that's my home, okay? Before Adam dragged me up here like a dog on a chain, I was very happy there. Oh, yeah, sure. All alone and just loving it. Well, I have friends and I have neighbors. I practically left water boiling on the stove. I rushed up here so fast. Well, that'd bad. be a great reason for you to go running back. Well, that, that, you don't have to call it that. It's not what I'm doing. Yes, it is. It's exactly what you're doing. And it's so like you, isn't it? See Dixie. See Dixie, run. Run, Dixie, run. Here, let me make it easier for you. You can take my car. Ted, you don't have to be this way. I'm not being any way. Bon voyage. You go ahead. You have a good life. You just keep running, Dixie, because that's what you're good at. 